welcome back to the channel y'all we are once again back in field 17 to start off with i feel like the last like two or three episodes have been all spent in field 17 and i'm just about oh hey we missed just a wee bit over here let's uh do that there we go okay so we got it well what i realized at the end of the last episode is that i needed to spread some lime on this field once again now i know i've already spread lime on field 17 once but for whatever reason it didn't it didn't do enough anyway it did some but not enough and the second application has done extremely well we're sitting pretty along with, at least with the ph we're sitting good we still have some work to do with our nitrogen and i am hoping that as at least what well, what i plan on doing is i'm gonna stay up we're going to try to kind of sleep through the night, but I'm going to stay awake and let it uh, get into the next growth state. And as soon as it does, I'm going to turn the growth off. And then when we get in the morning, it'll be ready to fertilize and get the last, well, the last coat of fertilizer we're going to put on this field anyway. It has already had, I think, two. And in some spots, I've tried to put on three. <laughs> and well, well, as you can see, it is not quite the same color as uh, field 15 here. But we're getting there. It's getting a little bit greener each time we go over it. But I think one more time is going to be sufficient. But the first thing we will probably do in the morning is we are going to run over here to field 46. And we are going to get started harvesting our potatoes. And we need the potatoes because our cows, no cows, we don't have cows, we have pigs. I don't know why I always say cows, and I mean pigs. Our pigs are running a tad bit low on food. They have nothing for potatoes, not much for soybeans or canola or sunflowers. Now, I will not use soybeans to feed my pigs. I will use sunflowers because I think you get more harvest out of the sunflowers and they are the cheapest out of all three so that's what i like to go with and we did just plant a field of corn now since i'm going to be turning gross off it's going to take a little while for that to uh, transpire but it'll be what it'll be they will be fine I, they're not going to starve to death they're just going to slow down reproduction and we can live with that. We're sitting at almost 200 cows. Or two, gee, there I go again. <laughs> They're not cows. They're, so they are sitting with about 200 pigs. That's pretty good. I think we've done well. So let's just park this guy. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and back this guy in. And trade it up for the sprayer versus the dry box here. Because I think we're done with the dry box, for at least right now. There we go, there we go. Now, I wanted to mention, I think I'm going to do another map. And I'm, th whoa, whoa, trees, trees. Uh, Ravensburg is what I'm going to do. There's a few extra crops that you can do on there. You can do onions, and I know carrots. And I thought there was something else on there you can do. There we go. So I am thinking that's what we're going to go to. Now, do I have enough money to fill this pig up with fertilizer? Ooh. I am running a tad bit low on cash. I really don't want to have to take out a loan, but if we have to, well, you know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Pull up here. Is it? Oh, there we go doesn't actually give you a trigger to tell you to fill up. And that's not bad. Not bad at all. Lime cost me... I had to fill up uh, two tankfuls of lime just to get Field 17 done. That cost like $3,400 a pot. So why uh, fertilizer is cheaper than... or Yeah, cheaper than lime, I do not know. But there we sit. So let me go ahead and I'm going to uh, go call it a night... And I'm going to keep looking out my window and see when this field gets to another growth state. We'll get it taken care of. And then I will see you all first thing in the morning. Good morning. Well, 
I slept in just a wee bit throughout the night, but I think I deserved it. Let's pull up the map and I'll show you what I did. So here on field 17, I went ahead and I got two more applications of fertilizer spread on that field. One just really did not make much of a difference at all. And the second one, at least some of it, parts of it are fairly green. Now, I, I don't know what else I could have did. Now, the uh, automatic application rate did absolutely nothing. So I had to turn that off and then that's what we got. So it is what it is. It's too late now. I did notice that if we come up here, let's uh, speed up just a little bit. Our soybean field is done. It is ready to go. You can still see my tire tracks out there. <laughs> but that is as good as it's going to get. I am not going to be playing with that anymore. And I am going to stay out of field 17 for today. I am tired of that field. I've here in the last, oh, I don't know, maybe hour for me, I've spread lime on that field and fertilized it twice. So I think I'm done with field 17, at least for now. What I want to do is I want to get over to our potato field and I want to get I want to get that thing going. I want to get it rocking. Now, I think I know what harvester we're going to use. Let's pull up the map here or not the map, but uh, our store options. So let's go here and we need Homer. Right, that should be around here somewhere, right? Wait, I think it's, I already passed it, didn't I? Look at that. Too fast. There it is. I see it. Okay, so. Well, look at that. So we have, this is the header that I am thinking about using. It goes 16 miles an hour. It does potatoes. It is the HR12 GFL edition. So we can click on that and main color. Now, let's see. What is a good potato color? That's kind of an interesting color. Not, uh, kind of like a burnt orange-ish. Yeah, I don't want green. I want something that had a little bit of pizzazz to it. That's no pizzazz at all, is it? I, I end up him hawing and... Oh, that's a bad potato color. Do we got brown? Do we got a brown? Well, we do, but that's kind of more like a baby poo brown, I think. It's not really a potato brown. Oh, indecisive. Not John Deere. Fendant. Oh, my goodness. Goldhofer? I think that's it. I think we're going with uh, Goldhofer. <laughs> oh, look. We can increase the speed. But I think 16 mile an hour is, is plenty good. So let's go ahead. Let's lease it. Oh, I don't have enough money. Well... Go for, oh, I am negative. Am I negative 2,400? Okay, well, that changes a little bit of something, something now, doesn't it? So I guess we're going to borrow a little bit of money. Now, I could go in. Let's get to 100 grand there. Okay, I could go in and sell my canola straw. I think it's canola. I do believe. But let's uh, let's just forego that for right now. We'll get to that. I'll sell it to make sure we get all squared up. But so let's go there. And I really didn't like the blue, to be honest. But, you know, the metal looks pretty good. We're just going to go metal. I'm going to do it. I don't know why. But that's what we're going with. That's why I don't pick colors very much. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. So we have two of them here to choose from. This guy does 45,000 liters. This guy does 150,000 liters. So I'm not sure which one to go with, to be honest. So we got uh, what I went with. Uh, oh, and this doesn't have metal. Oh, it does. That's gray metal. Main color. I don't know that I want. That's a little too. Let's, let's go with that. Now, what if I did metal there? That looks good. I'm liking that. Now, rim color. Now, normally, wait a second. Normally, 
I'm an Onyx guy, but uh, that that really doesn't look too shabby, if you ask me. That looks pretty much the same. I think we're going for it. Oh, wait, let's check our tires. Let's check those. Let's check them. Oh, we got Michelin's. Trailer Borg, not bad. Yeah, I think Trailer Borg is a little bit more aggressive tread. Yeah, let's do Trailer Borg. And how much horsepower are we looking at? I mean... Now, that's funny. Down here, it says real power is 626. But up here... Oh, no. Why is that? Why does it say it has 826? And that says 626. But... Can we get it up to the 826? Let's... Uh... Okay, let's do 845. That way it gets it gets us up to where we are supposed to be. And if we're going to be carrying around 150,000 liters of taters, then uh, we need a little bit of extra oomph, I would say. All right, so now let's go to the store. Oh, wow, that first click, our tab, I should say. All wheel steering. This thing is mammoth. It is just mammoth. I would love to see one of these in real life. It has got to be just uh, kind of awe inspiring to say the least. All unfolded. All right, let's get over to the potato. Wow, we're, are we dragging the ground? Can we? Oh, not really. Okay, we're good. We're above. Kind of teeters and totters. Totters? <laughs> Teeter totters, I guess. Sorry, let's eat either way. Let's get her butt over the potato field. Let's see if we can get this thing done. Okie dokie. So let's, let's unfold the harvester. Get that thing going. Try to get out of the road here somewhat soon. Okay, so we're unfolded. Let's lower that. Turn on the harvester. Somebody got something to say? I think they do. And they, I, no patience. No patience at all. Okay, and we are rocking. So now I have no idea how much product we're going to get off this field. It was not fully fertilized. Not because I didn't attempt it. I most certainly did. Whoop. We fertilized it uh, when we planted. And normally, with precision farming, that does it. But I think there's an issue with the potatoes and the soybeans. I had a gentleman tell me that, and then I thought they updated it and fixed it. But I don't believe they did. I th still think there's a small issue with it. If I would have known that beforehand, I probably would have done sugar beets instead of potatoes. But, you know, let's get that thing off of there. What you gonna do? You just gotta live and learn, move on. So let's go ahead, let's get this thing knocked out and done. And then uh, make our pigs, look at that, I didn't even call them cows. We'll make our pigs all happy. <laughs> I am definitely not thinking that we are going to be able to get the whole field in here. 
So I'm trying to kind of square it up so that we can put a worker on here while we run and grab ourselves another trailer. Or a trailer, I guess. I shouldn't say another trailer since there's not one here already. And I think on the other side of the field, we should be sitting pretty good as far as uh, leaving a worker to it. This side, I think, will be a little bit difficult for the worker. But, come on, baby. She's starting to get a little heavy. What, we're sitting at all oh, about 105,000 liters. Sitting pretty good. So now, let's see here. There we go. Now, I thought the diff lock was green. When it was green, diff lock was on. But as I watch others, they turn it on red and diff lock is on. So I tend to, uh, <laughs> tend to listen to them. I'm not that confident in what, uh, what I was doing. So if somebody else is going to say it's something different, I think I'll just go ahead and follow their lead. They seem to be a little bit more educated in all of this. So what, we're at 73%. Trying to figure out when. Let's do that. And I think I'm going to go right up here. And we're going to try to put a worker on it right here. And hopefully, they are going to be all right. Let's go, let's go. And off and run it. So we're gonna get, we're gonna miss that one strip. That's all right. We got a couple little spots around the map that we are around the field anyway that we've got to get. So with that, what trailer? What tractor? Really? Probably the 8400. JCB is uh, whoa. What are we in? 8400. That should do it. And our trailer is right over here. And I think it holds what 150,000 liters. I think. So what, that's the pickup trailer? This, this is the guy we're looking for right here. I shouldn't have him the same color. It messes me all up. I get confused as far as what's what. I do believe this holds 150,000 liters. We will soon find out. So let me get my butt back over to the potato field and I will meet you all over there. Let's see about getting this guy emptied out here. He looks pretty darn full. Okay, let's see. Can we sneak up? Uh, I was going to try to sneak up over here. No, stop, stop. Oh, he's not going to stop. So, All right, so we're going to hope that he's not so full that he's going to end up uh, halfway in the middle of the field there. Takes him a while to turn his big old butt around, I see. Let's just... Wait, where are we at? Oh, we're all right. We're okay. We'll be able to manage. Now, I had uh, mentioned trees. <laughs> Lots of trees. I would mentioned uh, Ravensburg. Now, if somebody has another map that they uh, think would be a good fit, I am all for it. I just kind of, I want something that has a little bit of other crops other than the standard in-game crops. That's what I was looking for. And maybe something that has a little bit more user or helper friendly fields. And Ravensburg kind of fit the bill. It doesn't have uh, crazy crops. But it definitely has some additional ones, which I think would be nice. Good turn. Look at that thing go. Sort of. It's uh, spinning its wheels pretty good, I would think. Well, it does have a lot of weight. Hundred and some thousand liters. Come on, let's get up here. Let's go, let's go. Unfold there, you beast. Uh, takes off faster than I do. Stop. There you go, go, go. My goodness. Trying to keep up here. I think I gave it too much horsepower. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on. There we are. Okay. Hallelujah there. That took some effort. 
But anywho, back to what I was saying. If you guys think of a map and it has uh, some extra crops on it and uh, you like it better, I, I, heck, I'm all open for options, you know? Options are good. And I don't think we're going to quit this map. I'm going to keep going. I still need to do a Stone Valley episode. i got probably two more episodes on Stone Valley I'd like to do. We need to get in and get a bunch of stuff harvested on there and then get everything sold. I don't think I can do it in one episode, but I think two episodes, we should be able to close that one out, that Let's Play out. And I'm not uh, opposed to doing it again, but I would do it in a different location, not on the main farm. Something a little bit different. I really enjoyed Stone Valley. Well, I mean, I enjoyed it because, well, not only because, but I'm from central Illinois, same place that map is supposed to be. It doesn't look exactly like Central Illinois, but, you know, it's as close as I want to get. <laughs> I hope I don't offend anybody. I was born and raised there, so I, I feel as though I have the right to give it a little grief anyway. There's a reason I move. It's cold in the wintertime. There we go. So I think... I think we're going to go ahead and let's take this to the pigs. Let's get some of it dumped out. And that way we, we will at least know. I have an idea of how much the pigs are going to take. I would assume that this is going to uh, fill the pig trough up. We're going to have all the potatoes that we need for pigs. That's just an assumption. But uh, yeah, we didn't take that much wheat, I don't think. Actually, we did, didn't we? We took all, it took all the wheat we had from field, I think it was 15, 16. I do believe it was 16. And that's a decent sized field. So either way, I guess we're going to get up here and we will know one way or the other how much we're going to need. Okie dokie. Let's see how much these cows are going to take. And there we go. There we go. All right, they're, they're doing pretty good. Okay, so we're at 50%. Are they really going to take it all? They are. I cannot believe they're going to take all of that. Wow. They really are pigs. My goodness gracious. That was like almost 140,000 liters of potatoes. Did it fill them up? Let's see here. Did it fill them up? It's got to be really close, right? Oh, my goodness. They're going to, like, take that whole dang field. Jesus. All right. Let's get our butt back down to the potato field. And uh, let's see if we can get this job finished up anyway. I was thinking maybe we would sell a few of them. But it doesn't look like that is going to be the case. All righty. We got this guy emptied up. He should be good to go. So I think what we will do is we will leave this guy to go ahead and see about get out of the trees. See about getting this field finished up. I think they'll do a pretty good job. We'll have to come back, obviously, and do a little bit of touching up. But what I am thinking that we should do, let's pull up the map here. Come on, get on over there is I think we should come over here and harvest field 14. That is corn, and that should really, that should take care of our cows. And we our, There I go, uh, pigs. That should take care of our pigs. I think that is really the last thing that they need. That should bring them up to snuff. We have not even planted our sunflowers yet, but I think 41,000 liters is going to last them for a few days anyway, at least. I would say two to three days. We should be fine there. And our cleanliness, as always, is good. The self-cleaning pins, I do like them. But without the corn, we are down to 68% as far as productivity. And I don't like it. So let's, uh, let's see. What do we need? We need harvester. Not that one. No, 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 no. I see it over there. There we go. All right, we've got it. So let's drop off this header. Get this thing out of here. Let's get in here. Wow. 
Man, there's not much of a view when you're in here. Obviously, uh, I need a better view <laughs> because I can't drive from inside the cab. Now, maybe we'll just bring it on. Can I get over that ICV? Oh, we're good. We're good. No problem at all. I think I'm just going to park this guy right here. That should be just fine. And then once we get the corn, like I said, I think the pigs are going to be sitting pretty good. And then I would like to turn my focus to maybe making a little bit of money. And I think what I want to do, well, I have two options, really. We can, one, we can go in and we can dump all of our canola straw onto the ground and we can make some bales and get that sold. As of right now, I haven't really found anywhere that takes it without it being in bales. And definitely, the best price is in bales. It always has been. Everything I've seen has always been in bales. Or we could go through and do a little bit of grass work, which is what I am kind of leaning towards. I, I would like to do a little bit of bales, make some silage bales. I think that would be, uh, that would be fun. I always like making bales. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to stick with the same setup that we have or if I would like to go ahead and get the fast baler. The fast baler is so nice. You don't have to stop anything else. You can just keep on keeping on, and it just makes it so nice. No backing up. No. Look at that. Good thing the mailbox I can go right through, but at least I missed the uh, sign. That's something. Now let's drop this guy down, and I think I'm gonna go this direction. I always, t for some reason, oh wait, wait, wait. What are we spitting out here? Oh good, there it is. Well, we are gonna make a little bit of money off of our corn stalk straw. I didn't even think about that. I'm not quite used to the uh, straw me mod yet. It's still kind of new. You think corn, all you get is the product. But in this case, we should make a little bit of cash out of the corn stocks. That is going to help. So now we'll have to decide whether we still want to uh, do some bales, do some mowing, which I think we're going to. I don't know if we're going to get all the bales done today as far as uh, the silage goes. But if nothing else, we're at least going to get it all mowed up, ready to go. And that should put us on the right track. We've got a big fat loan to pay back now. I've been doing pretty good and staying debt free. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Alright, let's get this field wrapped up. I think this harvester did pretty darn good. We've got what more, way more than half the field done on one tank full. Back up there, baby. There we go. All right, so let's just top it off real quick. 
if I can stay out of those trees. And there it is. Topped off, it is. Pick it up, shut that off. Now, I think we'll just take it up here and dump it right into the hog trough ourselves. No need to go grab ourselves a trailer or anything like that. So now the question is, is how much will this give us? I know it'll give us 35,000 liters, but I mean, how full, how full will that make us? Now, I wonder, I'm going to, I'm curious to check also to see what our uh, yield was as far as percentage goes. Oh, slow down, slow down. There we are. Okay. Am I in it? In it to win it here. There we go. So, all right, let's see. Let's take a quick look. And okay, so it's not uh, it's not going massive. I mean, the line's not growing so big. That's all right. That's okay. So, what did it say here? We can check and see our yield. And uh, well. I hate to say, but we didn't do that good. It looks like we got 80%. I'm not sure why. Maybe, maybe I, no, I tried to actually, I checked it out to see if I could put another fertilizing state on there. And the answer was no. So if we go nitrogen, pH, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I still think we're going to come out just fine. I am happy as a pig in poo. Oh, there we are. So let's see here as I go back and forth, back and forth. How we end up? Oh, oof. Okay, then. It looks like uh, we might need to plant another uh, crop of corn to keep up with the pigs. But either way, I think we're going to be fine for quite a few days. We'll decide which uh, which field. We can't go with the corn in this one. You like to alternate crops. So I think what I want to do is I'm just going to go through here. And I'm going to get this guy finished up. I don't want to run another speedy on that. I think one is, uh, one is sufficient. You can kind of see the gist of it. I always like to run the headlands more than the rest anyway. Just I think it's more interesting trying to get around and set up the field. So let me get this done, and then what we'll do is we'll jump right back, back over there to our potato field. I am sure that they should be finished up with their job. We'll clean up their mess and uh, go from there. Well, I think we've came out pretty darn good. What, we had 35,000 the first time. Looks like we're gonna be right at, what, 18,000, 17,000? That is, that's pretty good. That's nothing to sneeze at. So we made what? 35, 45, about 50 some thousand liters. That should help out the pigs. That should make them uh, at least a little bit happier. We'll see if our production rate has gone up. Now, the way I usually like to do pigs is as far as making money off of them. I like to get to where when I sell a truckload of pigs, they reproduce or at least sell as many as they make in a given day. So if they make 15 pigs a day, then I like to sell 15 pigs. That keeps their reproduction rate up and I get to, I sell as many as I can. I hope that all made sense. Sometimes it uh, sounds good in my head and then when I speak, uh, it doesn't sound as good. Now, you would have thought my uh, production rate would have went up by now, but so like here, it looks like uh, we get what one per hour and I know it gets better. Oh, that's because we're at 68%. I was saw it before and we were getting one every 45 minutes. And I don't know if it gets better than that or if that is, that is as good as it get. I can't remember if it goes to a half hour, one every half hour or not. It might just be one every 45 minutes is the best way. But whatever it is, that's what I try to do. So then the next day, you get to sell just as many uh, pigs as you did before. And it always stays kind of close to full anyway. 
So let's go drop this guy off without running into a tree. And I did get a notification that our helper on our, uh, oh, our potato field is done. So we can go clean up that mess, grab the last of our potatoes, drop them off at the pigs. And then our pigs, we will be done with those today and we won't have to mess with them anymore. So the worker didn't do too bad. For some reason, they like to do that. They like to turn around and come all the way back where they're almost ready to go. And then they're like, uh, no, that's as far as we want to go. That's it. We can see it. It's all ready for you. But then I guess maybe that's just their time to punch out. Clocking out. They're done. But I think we can handle this. Don't think it's going to be too bad. Turn, turn, turn. Whoa. Man, oh man, the head of that. When you turn this thing and it goes left and right, left, right, left, right. Uh, about makes you dizzy. It does me anyway. And we have a few little sprigs that are around. Drop. Did it get it? I don't know. We'll have to see. A few sprigs around the field that we will have to come through and clean up. But I think we can handle that. There we go. So we ended up with, wow, 95,000 liters. We are really close to, what, 250,000 liters? That's pretty dang good. Let's raise that up. What, we got one over here, I see. So we'll grab these last little sprigs. And I do think we'll dump this in the... Uh, did I get them? Oh, and I missed. Corn found it. Back up. There we go. All right. That's better. So I will put this in the trailer. I think it's going to just move... A, well, this thing does go at a pretty good clip. It might go faster than my tractor does. But that being said, we've already got a trailer. Load. So we'll fill up our trailer. Get those back over to the pigs. So I guess we're not quite done with the pigs yet. Almost. Almost. And then do we want to make some uh, corn stalk bales? I think that would be the proper way to go it's going to be the quickest way to make some money oops sorry about that and pay for the trailer damage so there we go so why don't i go ahead and finish getting this guy emptied up i'll meet you over by the pigs we'll dump this in there see how much we uh how much good we did how much damage we did to him and then we will uh, see about getting ourselves a baler I had completely forgot that we already had some in this trailer. So we are looking at almost 300,000 liters of potatoes off of that not that big of a field. That's a, that is a lot of potatoes. So let's dump it in there. There we go. Going? All right. So how much would the potatoes, how much money would we have made off of that? Uh, let's see here. Potatoes. So we're looking at like $400 per thousand liters. We would have made, we would have made some pretty good money, I think, for 300,000 liters. Yeah, that's nothing to sneeze at. Eventually, we'll be able to make a little money off our pigs. Oh, wait, why did you, oh, holy, they are full. All right. That's cool. I did not think we were going to fill them up. But there we go. And productivity is up to 100% and it's still one hour. So I guess it didn't go up. I don't know. I could have swore I had saw where it was at 45 minutes. That could have been the next animal in 45 minutes, to be honest with you. That's a very good possibility. So now will this silo take our potatoes come on be nice it's all for the pigs no <laughs> no it won't so okay so we won't put them there i guess we'll take it back to the main farm 
That's all right. Well, we're heading while we're back there. We will grab our baler. And I think we're going to use the cloth. Just because I would rather do square bales. Round bales are all right. But square bales never roll on you. They just don't do it. Let's dump it in there. At least this silo takes it. I didn't add any multi-fruit. This was a multi-fruit to start with, which is always nice. When they give you one of those on the map and you don't have to buy the uh, extensions. Greatly appreciated, for sure. So I don't think we need this. Let's see if we can get this guy put away, put where they go. Oof, that's not really a very good angle, but we would do our best. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, come on, you can do it. Oh, oh, it's looking okay. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Nice and straight. Yeah, fairly straight. Straight enough. Good enough for who it's for, as they say. So I know our baler is sitting over here in the grass field. We'll have to come back. I think we'll use the same uh, bale trailer. That guy right there it does a pretty good job. And I think I had this set to 6,000 liter bales, which I think would be just fine. Oh, first bale is going to be a grass. I don't think we can empty it. Well, I do not. I don't want it grass. You know what I can do? A little cheaty cheat here. I, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, well, it's too late now. <laughs> oh, too late now. Can't help myself. Let's go, uh, let's go get some bailing done. Let's turn this bad boy on. Now, how many bales do you think we're going to get? I am thinking whoosh, bouncing between 25 and 30 bales is what I'm thinking. Uh, that, might be, that might be a little heavy. I never know. Every time I guess, I am so far off. Either I way overestimate or I way underestimate. You'd think that I'd have a clue. As many hours as I put in on this game, you'd think I would know something by now. Every time I think I've got it partially figured out, they do something and it messes me all up and I just feel dumb again. <laughs> I have no idea. I think I missed a little bit. Back her on up. There we go. Let's grab it. Waste not, want not. That's for sure. In this game, you need all the money you can get. I did just see where they uh, came out with a new John Deere Harvester mod, and that thing is like stupid expensive, like $800,000 for the harvester. I'm like, oh, wow, that is, uh, they're awful proud of that guy, that's for sure. We'll have to save up our pennies. Maybe we can go ahead and buy it. All right, let's uh, let's put our nose to the grindstone and see about getting this field finished.
are coming down to the end. Now, I got to say, the only thing that I have a problem with on this baler at all is the size of the pickup. You come down and, you know, you have to stop at the end of the row with your harvester and it leaves a little bit of a pile. And this thing, it will not pick up the whole pile. You've got to back. I know, and that's probably very realistic, but at the same time, it's kind of a bummer. You end up missing all kinds of just little spots here and there because it's not quite wide enough and you can't quite see what you're not getting until you're already by it goes through and just like that just a wee little bit that you don't get and it's just one of those things that uh, kind of bugs you as you're going through because then you're constantly backing up going forward and then as you turn the corner you see up oh, i missed a little here a little there i think i've did a pretty good job about picking most of it up there are definitely uh, little spots of straw corn stalk straw laying all over the field but I would say we've got about 99% of it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, and get it, get it, and where we, oh, now. Corn found it, no pun intended. Oh, see, like right there, there's a little bit. Maybe, just maybe, there's gonna be enough that we can, we got what, 200 liters? I do not know that I can find 200 liters around this field. I've done a pretty good job of picking it all up. We may just be out of luck, at least for now. I mean, I guess it'll be okay once we go to do something else. I don't think I'm gonna run around and try to find 200 liters. I think we are just going to do, be happy with what we've got all, uh, already. So let's see, let's turn it off. Let's unload baler. Is it gonna un it's not gonna unload that last bale either. Come on, it's at 96%. Ugh. Oh, that's no, we don't want the dry grass, grass, soybean, corn stalk. There. Okay. Come on, it was 96%. I think we're okay. Let's unload the baler. There we are. Now I don't have to whine and cry about it anymore. So we got more bales than I was thinking. I'm, the whole time I'm baling this, I'm like, oh, well, we're almost done. Oh, wait, no, there's a whole nother section of straw. I'm like, man, it just kept going on. The small field that keeps on giving, that's for sure. So let's get back. Let's grab ourselves our bale trailer and see how much money we're going to make off of our cornstalk straw. Now, I'm going to assume that I know where we're gonna go here before we go too far. It's almost always the same place, which is, which one is it? Well, I can't even remember. Let's go over here and corn stalk straw. That's, is that corn stalk straw? I think this one is. Oh, it's Eureka Farms, that is different. Usually it's, let's see, what's that one? Dreamy Tree Farm. We've been to the Dreamy Tree Farm so many times. Let's get back up there. Wow, that's it's not really great prices, but two sixty. Yeah, I mean, for corn stalks, I think that'll be okay. You can't really beat that. There we go. So now we know where we're going. Let's get rid of that. Let's go grab a trailer and see if we can get this uh, this job finished up anyway. All right, let's put her in operating position. There we go. So I'm going to stick with my original 25 to 30 bales. Hopefully I was I way underestimated. That would be nice. I'd be happy with that. I hate it when I overestimate. <laughs> That's never good. There we go. Back her on up here. All right. So, I mean, I think that as I look around, that number looks like it should be pretty good. And I don't know how much, I have no idea how much money we're gonna make out of this. But hopefully it will at least put a dent in our loan. I mean, we still have like 70 grand left out of the loan. I think we only borrowed about 100,000. Somewhere in that neck of the woods. 
if we can get the majority of it paid back, that would make me happy. I do not like to have a loan for, uh, for too long, but sometimes it is necessary. Well, I think I underestimated, which is always a good problem to have. We got 93. This will do it. Top it all off. There we are. So what? We made about $18,000 off of the uh, first trip, which means we should make uh, another 18000 So we're looking at 36000 there. So we should be right around the 45000 maybe, I think, when we get done. I do not think we have another full trailer load. I think this is a shortcut. I'm not 100% sold, but <laughs> we'll find out. All right, let's unload the bales. Bag it up there, baby. Back that thing up. All right. And unload here. There it goes. What was it? Eight, almost 18 on the button. Now, they did that to me last time, and I smacked that pole. Let's not do that this time. Come on. Go on by. There we are. Jeez, look at all the traffic. Uh, there we go. Now it gets skinny. Boy, that thing takes its sweet time. Well, we're not going to get a third full load, but we are going to get like 11 more bales. I think that is it. But that's not too bad. So let's see. We got 16, 32, 40, 43 bales out of it. At 6,000 liters per bale. That is pretty good. I am not complaining about that at all. So, all right, let's get back there, and this will give us our final total as far as how much cash we made on bales. But we are over 100000 which means we could definitely pay back our loan. I would prefer to pay it back before uh, overnight happened. That way, I don't think we get charged any interest or any payments on it. I think it's free money if we do it that way. Now, I am not positive on that i've always just kind of assumed and you know what assuming does nothing good that's for sure assuming does nothing good i do it way too often let's get this last bit in here there we go Oop, spin 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 all right Nope. There we go. That's it. Right there. And down she goes. So another 12,000. 
So 36, 46, 48,000. Not bad at all. Come on, get back down there. Am I hitting the right button? Probably not, because I'm a maroon. There we are. All right. But I think that is going to do it. I do not believe we have any more time. But hey, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please let me know one way or the other. I appreciate all of that that I can get. Now, I'm not sure how many more episodes we're going to keep doing here. I'd like to do a few more for sure. But I would like to start doing uh, some more maps. I wouldn't mind getting back to Stone Valley a little bit. Getting that taken care of. And like I said, I think earlier I think I had mentioned that we got probably two more episodes there. Because I don't think I can get it finished in one. And I am thinking about going to Ravensburg. Because that just looked pretty cool and we can do a few different uh, crop types. But if you have any other ideas of a map do you think would be better, please let me know. It would be greatly appreciated. But with all that, thanks everybody. And until next time, see ya!